Hey everybody, welcome back to Katana Gaming. This is the last episode that I messed up. So, after this, there should be no more problems. That sounds like a thing that I'd like to believe. But anyways, uh, let's just pop into this episode, I guess. So, uh, yeah, whatever the fuck, this rugged nonsense. Um, you know, it's another run and gun. It's not great. Uh, those goats are... Real assholes. I think Devin referred to them as dogs. He thought they were dogs at first. Um, don't know what kind of dogs he's seen. And then there's this guy. This guy's a real piece of shit. Look at that. He just... That's it. It's over. Killed us. <sighs> yeah. So, uh, that, that, uh, that, like, mountain cat thingy is not great. Not a fan of it. But, you know, we, we've dealt with worse, right? Eh, maybe. Um, another thing we learned, uh, these, uh, little pyro skull guys can't kill those. Uh, they just live forever. It's weird, because they live forever, but if you continually shoot at them, it does actually charge up your, um, like, supers. So, it's weird. It fills the super meter, but they can't be killed. Uh, at least, we tried... Uh, it might be in this episode, it could be in the next episode, I'm not positive. But we did, like, shoot at one for quite a while and nothing fucking happened. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say you can't kill them. Uh, until I see information that says otherwise. Uh, if you know, you'll probably tell me. So, there's Devin. He's on this platform. Uh, yeah, you're just gonna jump. So, we found this very interesting issue with that. Um, obviously, if you've been playing the game, you already know what's supposed to happen there. So, what's supposed to happen is that platform, you're supposed to stand on it, and then it slowly starts going down the side of the mountain, you do a little, you know, nonsense fighting some enemies and all that kind of jazz. But, for some reason, we don't know if it's like a, a glitch where, with like two-player setup, where if you have two players that are not both there, when you get to that point, it just doesn't move. Or if it only moves if I'm there, I don't know, but Devin couldn't, can't get that thing to move by himself. It just doesn't move with it. Unless I'm there, that shit don't move. Which is really bizarre. Um, which I think you'll probably see that once or twice in this, uh, in this run. I'm pretty sure we do it more than once. Where Devin's just like, I don't know what to do. This isn't moving. Why does happen? Alright, so yeah. So we're both here now. Now, that's what's supposed to happen. Like I said, that didn't happen before. You saw. And I think it happens again. Oh god, I forgot. Yeah, wow, we just got trashed on. We just got just completely obliterated at once. Excuse me, I'm just gonna... Uh, I'm a little stuffed up right now, so I'm gonna be gross for a second. Ugh, sorry. Yeah, I'm really gross at this exact moment in time. So... Um... Fucking winter, am I right? No, it's not. It's 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 fall, but you know, the cold. The cold is here. Winter is coming. You know. So I mean, yeah, it's just a, uh, you know, pretty pretty standard running gun. I think for us, it's not great, but it's not the worst one we've dealt with. But there's definitely definitely pretty upsetting playing this one. I think the worst is probably. Um, have we even played it at this point on this yet? Actually, I don't even know if you've seen it yet. Oh, never mind. I'll keep my mouth closed. Um, yeah, I think the worst running gun you might not have actually seen yet. So, I mean, you know, keep keep your eyes out for that. You'll know when it happens. Yeah, I don't know. Like, see? Again, you know, I'm here, uh, and so is Devin, so we both were able to go down it. But for some reason, we couldn't before. It was really weird. Uh, it's, like I said, it's got to be something to do with either me not being there or the fact that both players aren't there i don't know what the what the exact reasoning is is it, it's it's got to be that i'm not there it can't be that there's two that both players aren't there because i mean the game's coded to be also be one player so maybe if player one isn't present it's just not gonna go i don't know sweet dodge me fucking right over there you go all right Eight grady coin and you got hit. God. Alright, so, if I had a dollar for every time that specific goat right there hit me with his pickaxes, um, 
we'd, we'd have a better budget, and, uh, this would've never happened in the first place. But, uh, you know, so. <laughs> oh, God, I'm making myself laugh. Oh, it's so lonely right now, guys. I'm so alone. I don't like this. <laughs> I miss Devin. I'm just sitting here by myself watching this happen. And it's making me sad. I miss my friend. Oh, God. Alright, so I don't know if uh, if those little dragons are supposed to be like baby, like, grimmatchsticks, like, or if, like, it's the same species or whatever, but they look like little chibi, cute-ass versions of him, and they're great. Um, you know, Clayface, Clayface over here is pretty cool. He's just, uh, wrecking shop on us. Hey, we made it to the bottom! And Pan's Labyrinth. Alright. Oh, God, that fucking door. <laughs> terrifying face. Make it go away. I don't even remember what that door does. I think he shoots something out of his mouth or something? I don't know. Yeah, I honestly can't even remember. But... Oh, 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 wow. I didn't even notice, because I think it was because I was too busy playing the game, but I didn't notice, like, the statues and stuff until now. So, like, how they all have, like, these, like, classical style, um, like, Romanesque statues, but all the heads are, like, vases and, and plates and such. Does he shoot stuff? That's what it, oh, okay, yep, the bouncy little ink balls. That's what it was. I knew there was something, I couldn't remember what, though. All right, and this is where the fun begins. Um, I don't know if this one reminded me a lot. If I don't know if you haven't seen uh, Castle Crashers or you never played it yourself, uh, you can go watch us play Castle Crashers. That's a really old Let's Play. It's actually uh, the first one that Devin was in on the channel, like way back when we first even started the channel. Um, but it reminds me a lot of in Castle Crashers, where you have the, like, giant fur monster thing chasing you through the, like, building, I guess? I don't really know what to call it. But the building and your, like, jettison on shitting, uh, deer. <laughs> it's, uh, Castle Crashers is a really fun game. It's, it's very similar to Cuphead in, like, uh, flavor. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have that... It doesn't have the same appearance, like it doesn't, it's not presented as a classical cartoon, but it is presented like a cartoon. Um, what else have they made? Uh, what was that other game? Shit. Oh my god, I'm just blanking out on what this other game was called. I'm gonna look it up. Uh, so yeah, so... We, eventually, the whole thing is, like, there's a, exactly enough coins in the game to get you every item. Like, you'll have no more, no less coins if you buy every item in the in the store. And, obviously, I'm at 12, so, yeah. Probably should start picking some stuff up, you know what I mean? Alright, let me, I'm, I'm looking up that, uh, that thing. So, give me a second here of, of silence. I think you can live with it because I've been talking throughout this entire thing because I d d can't bear to let you deal with this without any kind of audio at all besides just our gameplay because God knows nobody's watching this for the gameplay. Um, you're only watching for the commentary. I mean, the gameplay creates the commentary. That's, that's how, you know, improvisation and such works. But without one or the other... We're subpar at best. I mean, we're subpar at best anyways, but I mean, like, if we just released this episode without me fucking babbling over it like this, you wouldn't watch it. Would you? I don't think you would. If it, Honestly, if you would actually just watch just a gameplay video of us if something like this happened, uh, just say so in the comments. I, I, that'll never happen. I'll always probably do this unless you really would rather just not even have to hear my voice. I know sometimes my voice is annoying. It's okay. If you don't want to hear me, I understand. I don't want to hear myself. Think about it. I've, I, I record myself for hours on end and then I have to listen to my own voice. It's terrible. I'm a man. I sound like a child. So, what, what is this? Oh, charms. Yeah, yeah. Um... Oh, you know what? Didn't even have to look it up. It's uh, Battle Block Theater. Just remember it. That's the other game that the the guys who made Castle Crashers made. Um, that's also a really fun game. Nice little co-op experience. Played that for the channel too. Uh, back uh, back in the day. So which what the fuck is the S charm? I don't remember what that is. 
But, um, you know, so we figured we'd uh, round this episode off with uh, the last mausoleum. So, uh, let's bang it out, eh? The mausoleums aren't really that bad. Um, I kind of like them, though. It's, it's, a, it's a nice change of pace to be on the defensive. Like, pure defensive, you know what I mean? Where you're not focusing on trying to shoot things or anything else. It's just parrying everything away to protect the genie that's in the... in the... fucking Stanley Cup over there. Uh, it's a hockey joke. For, 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 uh, for the sports fans. I'm not one of them. <laughs> I play the sports ball. I put the huck in the hoop. The huck. <laughs> I meant to say puck. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? See, I told you. I don't know shit about sports. Alright. So, uh, but yeah, these these really aren't too bad. This this one's kind of... This little <laughs> circular one. Those guys are kind of weird. Um, I think there's... This guy's bizarre. And then the fact that he breaks into two is kind of crappy, but, I mean, you know, we make it. You know, as we do, because we're so pro. But, like I said, sorry again for messing up all those videos and such. Um, you know, I feel bad about it, because you guys have really been into this series, so. Uh, this is the last one. It's over now. Everything should be hunky-dory after this. And if it isn't, I'm gonna kill myself. So, next time on Katana Gaming, another normal episode. Bye!